Hi guys, welcome to RPA Stuff. In today's video we are going to learn how to use database package in Automation Anywhere A360. We will be using SQL queries to read, write, update and delete data from SQLite database. Let us look at the database table which we are going to use for this demo. We have a table named Customers which contains 7 columns representing different customer details. Please note, the customer ID column is of integer data type while other columns are of varchar data type. Let us move to Automation Anywhere and look for database package in actions. Drag and drop database connect command. Our all database actions will always come between connect and disconnect database actions. In connect action, you will find options to specify connection mode, database type, server name, credentials etc. If you are using any other database service provider other than AA defined providers then we have option to provide connection string in connection mode default. Since I am using SQLite database, I have to specify .db file location. As mentioned earlier, we need disconnect command after all database actions are performed. Now let us take read action, read action supports select SQL query to read data. I will be using query, select asterisk from customers to get all data from customer table. We can also limit the number of rows to be fetched by specifying it in below section. To get output of the read action, we need loop action. Search for iterator as for each row in SQL query dataset. Please note the session name should be same as the database session. To store value of each iteration, create a record type variable. Now let us add message box inside loop to print result. Inside message box, I will be selecting record variable by name, you can also choose to select by index. Please note the record names should match with column names of database table. Now let us save and run the bot to see results. As you can see, bot is able to extract all details from database. Now suppose you want to extract details of customers who are from USA. We can do that by adding where in our query to filter data according to the condition provided. Let's try adding where country equals USA in query. As you can see this query gives us details as per the condition we have provided. Let us try this query using automation anywhere. Change the select query present in read action and run the bot. Our bot ran successfully with expected output. If you want to read only specific columns of data table, then follow syntax as shown. Select then column names you want to get followed by from table name. Let us try this query in database query editor to look at output. 
I will write query to extract customer ID, name, city, and postal code from the table. As you can see the output of this query contains only the specified columns, Now let us try this query in automation anywhere. Replace the query present in read action. Since we are not extracting whole table, remove the column name record variables which we have not mentioned in the query from message box. Now let us save and run the bot to see results. Our bot ran successfully with expected output. Our next action is insert slash update slash delete. The syntax for all three queries supported by this action are as shown. The insert into statement is used to insert new records in a table. The delete statement is used to delete existing records in a table. The update statement is used to modify the existing records in a table. Let us try the insert query in our database editor, we will insert row with new set of customer details. Insert into table name, customers open bracket, column names close brackets, values open bracket, details you want to enter, close brackets. After running select query to see updated table, you can find new row of customer details that was added by insert query. Now let us try insert query through automation anywhere, I will change his customer details values before copying. Disable the read action and loop action from previous step and add insert slash update slash delete action. Paste the copied query and save and run the bot. To see the change, we will go back to database and run the select query to check updated table. Our bot has added row as expected. Now let us try delete query. Delete from table name, customers, where, condition, customer ID equals 4516. Let us run delete query and check output using select query. Our query worked, the particular record has been deleted from database. Let us try using automation anywhere, I have pasted the copied query in our action. Before running I am changing the customer ID used in where condition. Save and run the bot.
To verify output, I will run select query. Our bot has deleted record successfully. Our next query is update. Update, table name, customers, set, column names equals, values you want to modify, where, condition, customer ID equals 12,212. Our query works, it has updated our table with given values. We will go to automation anywhere and try the same. I have copied the query and have made changes in values to be updated. Save and run the bot. Let us check the database now. We can see the bot has successfully updated the row with given values. Thank you for watching. Please hit the like button and share this video. Feel free to leave a comment and subscribe to my channel for more RPA related videos.